Earlier this year, the Wyoming Game and Fish Commission voted to approve a revision of a regulation relating to collection of shed antlers and horns in Wyoming. The updated regulation now allows residents beginning May 1st the opportunity to collect shed antlers in Collection Area 1 in much of western and southern Wyoming seven days ahead of non-residents who can hunt antlers beginning May 8th. It also requires all non-residents 15 years and older to purchase a conservation stamp to collect antlers or horns on designated lands. The commission-approved regulation is up for view on the Wyoming Game and Fish Department website. Despite a rather mild winter so far in many areas of Wyoming, the public is reminded that shed horn and antler gathering or unnecessary disturbances of big game animals is prohibited on most public lands west of the Continental Divide between January 1st and April 30th. One exception is public lands in the Great Divide Basin of southern Wyoming and some land west of Laramie. Seasonal winter closures for shed antler and horn hunting began January 1st for Wyoming Game and Fish Commission Wildlife Habitat Management Areas all through Wyoming. During the winter months, deer, elk, antelope, and moose use up accumulated body fats and reserves when there's typically reduced browse available on winter ranges. Spring weather that runs cold and wet, plus human-caused harassment and disturbance of these animals, make big game expend much more energy compared to warmer months and can push these animals to less productive habitats. Winter conditions change quickly in Wyoming, so the better these animals can conserve their fat reserves, the better chance they can make it to late April and May when severe weather begins to lessen its grip. Public lands are defined as federal lands and lands owned or administered by the Wyoming Game and Fish Commission. The Game and Fish asks the public to watch for antler collectors, poachers, or suspicious activity and to report any illegal activity immediately. Many people use the department's stop poaching hotline. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.